On April 15th, the biggest event of the year will go down, headlined by the highly anticipated rematch between AJ McKee and Patricio Pitbull, as well as the finale of the light heavyweight World Grand Prix between champion Vadim Nemkov and ground and pound specialist Corey Anderson. That's not all though, fight fans, so strap in as I give you four things to watch at Bellator 277. AJ McKee versus Patricio Pitbull. This is a rematch that everyone wants to see. Now, the real question is, will we have the same result? And we could, because AJ McKee is special. He's long, he's tall, he's fast. And that's where we're talking about. Oh! And he knows how to fight everywhere in the stand-up. His wrestling is great. His submission game is supreme. That type of stuff will tend to wear your gas tank out as the round goes on. It is all over! So this guy can do it all. Patricio Pitbull has done it all. He has been one of the pillars of Bellator. This is a guy who is six and one in rematches and as the champion showed everyone just how great he could be. Now, Pitbull has to change. What he was doing before and what he was able to do in commanding the cage, he is unable to do against AJ McKee. He's gonna have to find a different path to victory. If you watch Pitbull early in his career, he was kind of a berserker. He would go after guys. He would chase them down and try to use his awesome power to put them out. Then he kind of changed. He got into taking the center of the cage, making his opponent come his way, and then unleashing beautiful counters with big power that put him out. He's unable to do that same thing against AJ. AJ knows it. AJ knows he can command the space. He's the one that's going to control the distance. And with his speed, he can be dangerous throughout the entire fight. Pitbull, unbelievable champion at one time. Can he come back and do it again? Absolutely. He's that good. Can he do it against AJ McKee? Only time will tell. The World Light Heavyweight Grand Prix with Vadim Nemkov versus Corey Anderson. The path to victory for both guys is close to the same. Corey Anderson needs to be the guy who has come into Bellator and utilized all aspects of his game. For a while, he was just trying to be the stand-up guy, which put him in danger because when you're standing up, you can hit someone and knock them out or they can hit you and put you out. And that happened to Corey. He came into Bellator and he just started being the old Corey. He used his wrestling. He took his opponents down after using his hands to get inside. And then he went to town with ground and pound that is incredibly dangerous. He knows how to posture and he brings big power, not only with punches, but with devastating elbows. Vadim Nemkov, very fast for a light heavyweight. Great at wrestling, great in the stand-up, good submission game. The guy can do it all, and that's why he's the champ. The path for Vadim Nemkov is to stop the takedown attempts when they come from Corey Anderson. If he can do that and control the distance of the fight, he's going to remain the light heavyweight champion, and he will become the light heavyweight World Grand Prix winner. Aaron Pico versus Jeremy Kennedy. This is a great matchup at 145. Jeremy Kennedy, very, very effective fighter, very good with his wrestling, beautiful control on the ground, devastating ground and pound attacks, good submissions. If you're looking at Aaron Pico, a completely different fighter now since he's been with Jackson Winklejohn for the last two years. This is a guy, unbelievable wrestling credentials, great boxing background, but he couldn't mesh the two skill sets. Now he's doing that and he has added a submission game. Take a look at his fight with Aiden Lee. He went after Aiden Lee with Darce chokes, Anaconda chokes, just unbelievable repetition, finally catching him. Looking for the Anaconda choke. He might get it now just based upon Aiden Lee being tired. And Aiden Lee forced the tap. Aaron Pico is the real deal now. This is a guy that can transition from one element to the next. Jeremy Kennedy, stifling ground attack. This is going to be an awesome featherweight matchup. Well, fight fans, that's a wrap for what to watch at Bellator 277. Is there a fight I missed that you're hyped to see? If there is, let me know in the comments. And while you're there, give us a thumbs up if you're as excited as I am for this absolutely stacked card from San Jose. Make sure you tune into the prelims this Friday on Bellator MMA YouTube and check your local providers for the main event. April 15th, is a fight night 
you can't miss. <laughs>